But first, we want to help you prevent the most dreaded words of the summer. I'm bored. Tiffany Kaloran is here with some great ideas for summer fun for the kiddos. Welcome back. Yes, thank you so much. Yeah, so it's, you know, approaching the end of June. This is usually the time we start hearing, Mom, I'm bored. Right, and we still got a long ways we to go. We still have a long ways to go. So I have a couple of ideas here that are really easy to do. Okay, where um, do we start? So the first is, I call this the boredom jar. We Ooh, have this at home. Okay. My boys started saying that they were bored. I sat down and I came up with just different easy ideas and activities. Okay. Put them on slips of paper. If they say I'm bored, they have to pick something out. Ooh. The only rule is you pick it, you have to do it. Ooh, you can't okay, put I like that, that back in. So, so what kind of ideas did you throw in there? So really easy things like this, for example, you have an art project you started six months ago and didn't get done. Why don't <laughs> You're we go finishing your Mona Lisa. Why don't we finish the Mona Lisa <laughs> this summer? Um, marshmallows and toothpicks, come up with a sculpture using only those two Ooh, things. Oh, fun. Start a journal. Um, you know, do a self-portrait using nothing but watercolors or, you know, okay. colored pencils. And, you know, understanding, especially in July, it's it's going to be 95 degrees, 100 sure. degrees. You don't always want to be outside. Mm -hmm. Watch a movie, but challenge them to come up with an alternate ending. Ooh, or something okay. that will kind of get the creative get their juices working going. a little yes. bit. I like that. Yes. So the next activity is actually one that I have in the boredom jar. Okay. And that is balloon tennis. Never <laughs> underestimate how fun a simple game can be. My boys love this. Um, grab a bag of balloons the next time you're at the dollar store, right? Mm -hmm. And use cray paper for a net. Oh. Just, you know, tape it from one end to the room to the other. Challenge them to a game of balloon tennis. What do you use for paddles? They have so much fun. Um, well, they just or use they the just balloon. use their hands. Oh, that's awesome. They just use awesome. the balloon okay. and keep it up, and it's minimal damage, right? There it's you go. Balloon. Yeah, you can't do much. <laughs> that's what you think. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> so, and there's actually like ping pong conversion sets that you can get now that you can turn any table into a ping pong table. That's all this is. That's it's amazing. It's a net that will clamp to a kitchen table or a table in Super the garage. Super fun. Keep them busy. Okay. So if you really want to get them out of the house, we have such amazing museums. Right. Around take here. a little trip. Take a little trip. So go to the Nelson. But put a spin on it. Tell them that you're going to follow them around the art museum and go into the rooms that only they're interested in. Hmm. You learn something about your kiddo, and um, they're not going to walk around and say I'm bored after 30 minutes. <laughs> and um, that's a good idea, especially if you've been there before and you're trying to freshen up that experience. Exactly, exactly. And it gives you an opportunity to learn something about your child, too, and what yeah. they like. Um, you want a day trip? Go up to you know St. Joe and the Pony Express Museum. Um, I heard that there is an Evil Knievel Museum that just opened in Ooh. Topeka. That's on our bucket list this <laughs> summer. Um, and then this airplane actually came from um, an Omaha museum called the Strategic Air Command and Aerospace Museum. Mm -hmm. We checked that out a couple weeks ago, and it was one of their favorite things. I had no idea it was even there. Interesting. Yeah, so, and then um, challenge them to write a journal about what they learned so that they can, you know, again, get that brain, you know, working over the summer months. You also have a fun idea with flashlights. Yeah, so we all love sitting outside in the summer nights. Um, this is something you can tell them to go and gather 10 items around the house during the day, little things like a spoon, sunglasses, a pen, mm -hmm. and that you are going to hide them come nightfall, give them a flashlight, and challenge them to go find everything. That um, is so fun. And it's something you can do <laughs> repeatedly over right, the summer months. Right, and it doesn't months. get old. And my only suggestion is if you have two kids, put two spoons, put two oh, of everything. Smart. <laughs> because then, it, then it's not a competition you can tell and you're it's a mom. just fun. <laughs> <laughs> Tiffany, thanks so much for the great ideas. Thank These you. are awesome and easy. I like all and of easy. them.